Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch season 5, episode 12 of Schitt's Creek. This episode is titled The Roast. So someone's getting roasted. I don't know exactly who, but I love a good roasting session. Um, so that has me very excited for whatever's about to come. The last episode was maybe one of my favorite episodes. Uh, we got to see David planning a surprise party for Patrick for his birthday, and he brought Patrick's parents into town to be, like, a secondary surprise to the surprise party, but we quickly found out that Patrick's parents did not know that Patrick and David were in a relationship, so... Luckily, everything went well. We got it all sorted out. They were more upset that... They actually weren't upset that he was with David at all. They were upset about the fact that Patrick felt like maybe he couldn't tell them and that maybe that was their fault. So, luckily, everything worked out. Everything was great. Uh, we also got to see Moira and Alexis go to, like, a convention. I don't know why I did quotations. It was a convention. <laughs> That's what it was. And we got to see how that kind of unfolded and had some good talks with uh, some other actress lady, I forget her name, but she was like, no, man, make that money while you can, Moira. <laughs> so that seemed to go over well. All in all, it was a great episode. We love to see it. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon, the link for that's down below, as well as the link to Discord, Instagram, anything else you might need. They're all down there as well. And without any further ado, let's just jump right into Season 5, Episode 12 of Schitt's Creek, The Roast. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two. Hey, you know, just getting started. Is it just getting started? because it looks like the two of you have been engaged in general merriment for quite some time now. Oh my God. Costume lineup for the show. Also that the two of you could sneak off to some secret dance rehearsal behind her back like a pair of dirty con artists. Oh. She's just not used to working with amateur dancers. Yeah, last week she told me to dance like an Indonesian scarf caught in the wind. Mm. We will be left off stage. You've seen me dance. Yes, you've liked this three fair. times. We knew that going into this. Thank you. David, that's so... And then it's done. One more session? I thought last night was the last session. Well, we couldn't nail the final lift. What is this? Dirty dancing? David. Okay, then I guess we can just tell her we're getting outside help. Good luck. When she was coaching me for the little... Oh, my God. They're gonna have to tell Moira. It'll be worth it. Excuse me, I have a job to do. Oh. <laughs> David means business. Get it, buddy. Get it. Yay, if that means more teddy time for me, then yes. No, actually, I've been thinking oh, about maybe taking a, a longer break from work. A vacation or? The two of us. Mm -hmm. Like Thelma and Louise? Nope. <laughs> Or more exotic, like, I don't know, somewhere that would have beaches for you and some interesting wildlife for me. Farther away, like, I don't know, the Galapagos Islands. I love that. Really? Yes, as a jumping off point, yes. Oh, God. Fun to go somewhere that you've never been before. Like, I don't know, the Galapagos the Islands. Galapagos <laughs> Yes. <laughs> He's like, I already have it planned page about this yeah yeah and and what page is that well we both agree that we want to get away and we both agree that we're going to land on somewhere so good <laughs> alexis oh my god she's something else i'm really gonna miss moira tonight at the annual mayor's roast i was looking forward to getting scorched oh yeah well she's gonna miss it too i would love to see moira roast someone for tonight uh no i i uh I'm more than capable of uh, taking Moira's place. Johnny, I don't think so. Those are pretty high heels to fill. <laughs> are they roasting Roland? Because that's kind of iconic. If you graduated elementary school. <laughs> I can't believe he said that to me. Oh, Roland, I'm sorry. Did I? Was that too far? Oh. <laughs> Look at your face. Oh, Roland, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? <laughs> Roland, stop. 
You are gonna get eaten alive tonight. Mm -hmm. Come on, Johnny. Hire Moira. Get Moira's help and then just sling those. David, what are you doing walking the streets all by yourself? You make me sound like a feral cat. I'm walking <laughs> home. Don't tell me the store is already laying off people. David, full disclosure, you have been awfully clingy of late. I think it might be propitious for you to spend some time with your peer. Doing tonight or Stevie. They're um busy. Basically, just go home and fall asleep. So actually, your show is stripping me of a social life. Oh my god. It'll have to be a working repast. I could use your eye for the final design of the posters. Okay, you employ the wrong font, and you may as well bid Alvita send to ticket sales. Oh my god. Oh my god. Going home though. Yeah. Why doesn't he? Why didn't he just get in? Alexis, you don't need to do those dishes. Didn't I just put she them on the counter? Um. <laughs> it says you were one of ten people selected for a research program. Oh, what? That's at the Galapagos. Because I applied before we got back together, and it takes a couple years to process the applications. A couple years? It sounds important. Listen, it's it's not not important, but you love old tortoises. That sounds like a dream. How long is the program? Six okay. months. Uh, wow. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to push it on you this morning, okay? Because you mean way more to me than some dumb once-in-a-lifetime job opportunity. But are you sure, sure? Because I don't want you to not go, like, just because of me. Okay, Alexis, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> I told you that it's fine, so it's, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, it's not fine at all. I'm going to figure it out then. Okay. Oh my god. No, I don't want this to happen. Why are there cracks? No. No, no, no. Okay, I just found out that he got this crazy job opportunity and he's turning it down just to be with me. That is lucky. He was one of 10 people picked out of like 10,000 give and take thing. Mm. Like he gives me so much and... I have learned to take as well. <laughs> and I'm sure you give things up for <laughs> as well. Totally. But also he never really asks me to, so that's hard for me to do for him. But if he did, I would. Oh, so he didn't ask you to go with him? Oh my God. One day I hope I find a guy like Ted, someone who would literally put all their hopes and dreams aside to be with Oh, <laughs> Twyla. I mean, where's the lie? Well, it's 1791, and three explorers have landed. Next. They're going to next all of them. I was flipping through the phone book the other day. and How old are these? Well, you were not even letting me get to the punchlines, Ronnie. Sean, you, you need a search and rescue team to find the punchlines for those setups. <laughs> Bob. Johnny, Johnny, you got to be short and quick, like rolling in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to use that Johnny. rolling in the bedroom joke. Fine, but I have a feeling it ain't gonna help you. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen me on fire, Bob. Come on, Johnny. I feel like Johnny is either they're gonna be really bad or it's gonna be like actually offending Roland. <laughs> it's late. I mean, it's it's 715. Are you sure you sh should be walking over there? Alone at this hour? Okay. Well, why don't I just pick them up for you then? Oh, God. At the window, who's there? Hunger. Ooh, hunger. <laughs> I love it. It's crazy. Go around the world, go around the world. Money makes the world go around. <laughs> Guys. How long have you all been moonlighting? It's, it's about a week. It's a really fun piece. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. <laughs> all this time I thought, poor David thought that you were home resting your instruments. Oh. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> David. David. Sorry, David. Okay. However, in the business of show, 
Doggery when it leads to such thrilling results. A pitch of moral corruption is a small price to pay. Come on, Moira. Very impressed. Was not embarrassed at all. I thought I would be. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was all so much happening right there. Aww. Ted, is he coming to break up with her? <laughs> I didn't like how we left things this morning. Me neither. I'm the one that should be. Yeah. Hell yeah. And so I think it's time that I give something back to you. My Fitbit? <laughs> no, I lost that. And so, yes, Ted Mullins, I will go to the Cayman Islands with you. You mean the Galapagos? Yeah, wherever the turtles are. Are you sure, sure? No, but yes. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we focus more on the beach and less on the details? Fair enough. Yes, Alexis. I'm proud. I'm proud. Ronnie is just <laughs> crushing it. I mean... Okay, so you can roast, like, other people, too. That's all I got for now. So, I'm just gonna hand it over to the one who wears the pants in the Rose family. But Moira is not here. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to pass it over to Johnny. All right, Johnny. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I'm so scared. Are more palatable than anything Jocelyn's been serving up tonight, so... Hey! <laughs> I'm the guy who's had four helpings. Oh, my God. What was I saying? Nothing funny so far. Ronnie! <laughs> uh, I don't think seem to be going downhill fast. Which is what the town must have been thinking when Roland elected himself mayor. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, got a smile out of Ronnie. The last time anyone saw her this happy was at a three for one sale on cargo pants. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. <laughs> cargo. I said cargo, which is what a car is supposed to do. Unless you take it to Bob's garage. <laughs> Well, listen, I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'll keep things short and quick. Which reminds me of the last time I was in Roland's bedroom. Um, well, I, I, I wasn't in Roland's bedroom, but... Uh, what was it, Ronnie? Just sit down, Johnny. <laughs> well, anyway, the punchline is, it was short and quick. He killed it for a minute. Let's see, he doesn't look good on you. Much like that mirrored jumpsuit you wore to Candy Spelling's 50th. John. <laughs> It. Take it easy, Alexis, like you did with your education. <laughs> oh, God. But smart enough to get that joke, but not smart enough to stop wearing sweaters in the middle of summer. <laughs> that was slow. Like David's standards. <laughs> or the placement of Alexis's back tattoo. <laughs> what have you done to yourself? It says, that's hot in Cantonese. Got it in Hong Kong. <laughs> I was 12 years old. What? <laughs> Guys. Mm. I absolutely love that episode. I love a roast. First and foremost, I love a roast. This is the greatest concept ever. It was so good. It was so good. Why were they so funny? I like that they were ripping into Johnny <laughs> while well, he was like failing. And he would start it doing so good and then he just messed up the punchline of a joke he stole. That's so Johnny. I kind of had a feeling that with um, Patrick and Stevie practicing outside of rehearsal, I kind of got the feeling that Moira was going to be like happy that they were taking it seriously and working on it as opposed to them just going home and sleeping and resting and like being bad <laughs> so i wasn't too surprised there when she wasn't angry with them but um overall what a fun little episode and i'm very very happy that alexis came around and said she'd go with ted because i do love them together and it is always kind of ted making the um sacrifices there obviously i didn't want to get too excited because I feel like there's a lot of time there for things to change. 
But if she is serious and they are actually going to do that, I'm very happy. Because she fought really hard for the relationship again and Ted had a lot of faith in it. In like ending one relationship that was going really well to now going back with Alexis. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works out okay. But yeah, I'm just so excited to see how this ends. I think we have two more episodes left in this season. But are we going to go to the Galapagos with Ted and Alexis? <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy if that's the case. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. Link for that's down below. And I'll see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.